All right, good morning. Um, we are continuing on with our linear relations unit. We are now on the second half um, and we're gonna do word problems. I actually think word problems are easier to do than the um, than lesson three, doing them off a pattern. We're still gonna use the same form. Just gonna zoom in here for a second. All right, so we're still gonna be using that same form. Oh, my notes shifted. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so hopefully yours will be fixed. I'll fix yours. So the rate per person or thing is your M, is your rate, and your B is the fixed value or the one-time cost. So that should be pointing at the B. All right, hopefully I'll get those arrows fixed for, um, for your notes when you get them. All right, so easy peasy. So we're looking at the thing that like, uh, it's $1.20 per text, or it costs $15 per shirt. Um, so anytime you are doing like a rate um, and it's per item or per person, that's your M value. Your B value is that one time setup cost. Like if you're activating a cell phone, you pay it once. Um, or if you are, the next example is about getting into a cab, like you have a flat rate. Um, so anything like that. So one time cost, flat rate, uh, setup charge, all of those are one time fees. You don't get, you don't pay them over and over again. You pay them once, one and done. So those are your B values. That's what you're going to add on. Okay. So in the first example, uh, Kelly's cab charges a flat rate. So as soon as I see flat rate, I know that's my B value. And then it's a dollar fifty. So this word here, per, that's the thing that's gonna like um, help you clue in that this is the dollar fifty is the rate. So that's the M value. Okay. So the per, the word per, so it's per kilometer, per person. It's for every one of those things. Okay, um, so write an expression for the fare. Okay, so expression we know has no, has no equal sign. So this is what we were doing in polynomials. Uh, the terms of the fixed cost and cost per kilometer driven. Okay, so we, it's given us a variable. It says kilometers driven is D. Okay, so we know that we take the rate. Oh, I'm pointing at things you can't see. We're gonna take the rate and we're gonna times it by our variable. So the rate is $1.50 per kilometers driven. And that is my D variable. And then we're gonna add to it the fixed, the fixed rate or the flat rate. Um, and the flat rate in this is $3.60. So that's the expression because it has no equal sign and it has one variable in it. Not all expressions have one variable. You've seen that from your polynomials. But when we move here to part B, the difference here is now we're dealing with an equation. So this has an equal sign. So this one's gonna have an equal sign. So now we're taking the fair cost so what it costs to take a taxi anywhere to the kilometers driven. Well, we've already done the kilometers driven here. So the cost is gonna be equal to $1.50 times the kilometers driven plus my flat rate of 360. I'm gonna tell you that we're gonna do more equations because those are the things that we're gonna solve for. Those are the things that we are going to um, graph um, and those are the things that we're concerned about. The expression's nice because it gets us thinking about how things are connected together, but we want to relate it to how much I'm going to pay in the taxi cab. Okay, so now it's asking me to do some math. Now that I have my formula, what's the fare? What's the cost? I'm just going to write down cost because uh, this one was cost of the fare. So what's the fare for an 11 kilometer cab ride? So this is my D value. 
I'm trying to find my cost, so I don't know what it is. So C is equal to $1.50 times the 11 kilometers plus the $3.60. So most cabs, when you hop into them, even before you go anywhere, they hit the button on their fare thing and it puts in an amount. Um, and that's their flat rate. So C is equal to $16.50 plus $3.60. And that's going to give us $20.10. Now, I did some of that on my calculator, and it didn't give me this zero, it didn't give me this zero, and it didn't give me this zero. Because in the calculator, it doesn't know you're dealing with money, but we know we're dealing with money. We know we're paying with Canadian cash, so we're going to have our dollar sign, and we have to have two decimal places for um, money. So just keep that in mind as well. So for an 11 dollar or 11 kilometer cab ride, it's going to cost me twenty dollars and ten cents. All right. Okay. So, ooh, another cab company. I guess I could have. Uh, could have uh, mixed this up. Okay, Puffy's taxi cab charges a starting rate. So this is, that's that fixed rate. So that's $3, so that's my B value. Let me write that in there, that's my B value. And again, the word per is gonna tell me that that's my rate. So my $1.30 is my M value. Okay, so that per kilometer. So write an equation. So we know we have an equal sign um, that represents the cost of a cab ride and the cost per kilometer. Okay, so I'm going to use some variables that make sense. So um, we're going to do C for the total cost, just like we did in the last one. And the kilometer, I'm going to call distance, right? Because you need to know how far you've gone. So this is almost exactly like the other one that we did. So the cost is equal to the M value, so $1.30 times by the kilometers driven plus that starting fee or that flat rate of $3. So this is my equation. All right, and now for part B, it said how far would you have traveled if the, co if the cost was $21.20? So now we know C but we're trying to figure out our D value, okay? So we're gonna put in 2120 equals $1.30 D plus $3. All right, so this is just two-step algebra. This is why we did equations before we did this unit because we're just doing that same algebra. I wanna get D by itself, so I'm gonna subtract three from both sides. We left with 130D over here. And this is going to be $18.20. I want D by itself. So I'm going to divide by $1.30. I'm going to divide this side by $1.30. So D is, oh, I'm right off the page. You guys can't see me. D is equal to. 14. And it's D represents our kilometers traveled, so it would be not money, but 14 kilometers. So now we have to be really conscious, we have to pay attention to our units of measure. Like this one was solving for a distance, so we're not going to put a dollar sign on the 14. We're going to we're going to use the kilometer. Um, Keep that in mind, if your units are incorrect, you will lose a half mark on both your hand in assignments and on your test. So after this lesson, you have a hand in assignment number two. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, we will hopefully chat soon. Good luck.